Let me show you how to set up Botrix multi-chat messages so that way you can read your Twitch, Kick, and YouTube messages all in one place. Majority of you have been having issues with getting the YouTube chat to work, so make sure to watch all the way to the end so that way we can solve that issue. So the first thing that we'll do is go to Botrix, and I'll make sure to leave a link in the description down below if you haven't used Botrix before. But we'll start off with logging in with one of these four options. I'm going to log in with our Twitch account first. You can choose whichever you'd like, though. Once you're logged in, it should bring us to the Pro file tab and you can see that we are logged in with our twitch platform in the top left corner if you're not here click on the profile tab on the left hand side and this is where we're going to link all of the accounts we'd like to read our multi chat from so i have my twitch account linked i have my youtube account linked and i have my kick account linked if you've never linked an account before to show you an example i can unlink my kick account we'll simply just hit sign in with kick we're going to put the username we'd like to sign in from then we can hit accept next we're going to have to give the moderator role to bot risk. So what we're going to do is click the continue button. It's going to bring us to our kick page and where we can add Botrix as a moderator. So what I'll do is I'll click the add new button and then I'll type in Botrix. And then we're going to find the one with the check mark. And then we're going to click the add button. And if you don't know how to get here, you go to your creator dashboard, which is over on kick. Go to the top right corner where you can click on your icon creator dashboard. And then go down to settings and then you'll go down to just kidding you'll go to community and then you'll go to moderators and that's where you'll find this page then it'll ask you to copy this little message right here so we're going to highlight it and copy that and instead of hitting the green button this time we're going to click this link right here at the top so we'll click that it's going to bring us to botrix's chat room we're going to paste in that message we had gotten click the chat button to send that message through We'll give it about a couple seconds so it will link our account. So it says your account has been successfully linked. That's perfect. We can go back to Botrix. And now that we've linked it, we can simply hit the finish button and we have our kick account linked. If you go to link your YouTube account like I've done here, you don't have to mod Botrix in the process, which can be a little confusing because we need to mod Botrix for our YouTube channel. So after you've linked your YouTube account here, let's go over to YouTube. And if you guys are curious what this little thing is on the side of my YouTube, it's actually my secret weapon on how I was able to grow my YouTube channel, telling me which keywords I need to target as well as an AI chatbot telling me which video ideas would be good ideas to do. So if you want access to this, I'll leave it linked down below the video. And I got you guys 90% off your first month if you use the coupon code on the screen. So go check it out. But once we're on our YouTube channel and we're logged in with our account, we can go over to YouTube Studio by going to the top right and click YouTube Studio. I'm obviously using a dummy account indicated by the zeros here because the last time I made a YouTube video for you guys, I accidentally went live on my main channel and that was the cringiest one minute stream because I had no idea I was live. So if you don't mind dropping a quick like on this video to help boost my confidence back up after that, I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyways, let's go to the bottom left corner and click on settings and then we're going to click on community. Now, this is the part where everyone gets tripped up on. You're going to go to the standard moderators tab, click here, then we're going to type in youtube.com forward slash botrix. Now, there's a lot of fake Botrix accounts here, but you can tell which one is the correct one because it has this logo that is centered in here, and you can also see that the B and the R are capitalized. It's because there's just so many people trying to make fake Botrix accounts, I don't know why that's even a thing, but we're just gonna click on this one. This is the correct Botrix account you need to mod, and then once you have moderated this specific one, we're gonna click on save. So make sure you have that Botrix account modded. So now that we have all of our accounts connected to Botrix with the moderator privileges given to Botrix, then we can go to the left-hand side where it says widgets. Then we're gonna click on the one that says chat right here. Now you can see we got a nice blank screen, but it will pop up the preview of what the multi-chat's gonna look like. So first off, you can see what chats are gonna be included in this multi-chat. We have Trovo, which we're not using, but we also have Twitch, YouTube, and Kick. So as long as these are enabled, these chats will appear in the chat box. But once again, YouTube does have some finicky things, which I will touch on in just a minute. So you can feel free to customize this chat box to how you would like it. If you have the premium, you can choose this neon one, or if you just want transparent, or default, you can feel free to mess with all of the free designs, which are indicated by not having the star next to them. You can also have the platform icon on, which is enabled right here. That way you can see who's talking from which platform. So everyone's talking from Trovo right now. But if someone were to be typing from Kick or YouTube or Twitch, then it would change the little platform icon, which is really convenient. So once you've customized everything to your desire, we can click on this widget URL. So we can click on copy, but this will work for OBS Studio or Streamlabs. If you're using OBS Studio, you can go and add a doc in the top left corner. 
then click on custom browser docs. Then you can add a new doc name. I'll call it multi chat. We'll paste in the URL we just got, click apply, and it'll bring up this nice window, which we can feel free to dock anywhere that we'd like in OBS. If you're using Streamlabs, go to the left hand side where it says layout editor. Then you'll be able to find the website option. You can drag and drop it into any of the slots here. Also change your layout up here so we can drag the website and then you'll paste that browser source URL inside here. And then it'll pop up wherever you placed it. So I'll go and send some messages from every platform. You can see that I said hello over on Twitch. I said hi over on Kick but the YouTube chat doesn't go through and you wanna know why? It's because it wants to be annoying AF and give me problems and pull out my damn hair. So much so that Botrix came out with an official guide on problems that can happen while using the YouTube chat for their multi-chat. And the most problematic thing that people run into is not having their stream public or live. Also the joining time and everything can be a pain in the butt, but to dumb all of this down, Basically, let me show you what's up. The first thing we wanna do is go to our YouTube channel. Then we can go to the top right corner where it says create. Then we're gonna hit go live. This is gonna bring us to our YouTube studio dashboard where we'll be able to control everything about our YouTube stream. So we can hit the edit button right here in the top right, and we'll be able to change the title to whatever we want. But the most important thing is changing our visibility to public. Otherwise, the bot Rick's bot cannot join our stream, therefore not showing our messages. So change that to public and then change everything else to your little heart's desires and then hit save. So now our stream is ready to go, except we need to change our top chat over to live chat. So that way we can see all of the messages and not just the top messages. Makes sense, right? So let's go over to OBS. If you see this and you're like, oh my God, Cody, why does it look like this? It's because you probably haven't seen my video how to multi-stream on OBS Studio. And if that's the case, I'll leave it in the top right corner. But I have my Twitch account connected as my main streaming account in my OBS Studio. So this is my Twitch. And then for our doc for our multiple output, I've connected my YouTube stream and my Kickstream. So most importantly, we're gonna start up our YouTube stream. So I'm gonna hit start. And then let's just start up my Twitch stream for S and Gs. So now our YouTube stream is live and our Twitch stream is live. And so now let's go over to YouTube studio to see our YouTube stream. So this is our YouTube studio. You can see that we've been live for about 17 seconds now. And the name of the game now is waiting how long it's gonna take Botrix to show up in your YouTube chat. Because when it connects, it'll send a chat in your YouTube chat saying, hey, we've successfully connected. So depending if this is your first time using it, chances are it can take up to 60 minutes. Or if you've turned it off and on, for example, if you went into your profile tab and selected your YouTube account with that green settings button under YouTube, and then you went to your chat bot and realized that the darn thing wasn't even on, then chances are it might take up to 60 minutes for it to connect. So make sure that chat bot is on, and then also, if you have a premium bot, you might need to turn it on and off as well. But chances are, most of you guys probably don't have that. But like I said, YouTube can be very, very, very finicky. And I'm just as frustrated as you guys because I didn't make the damn thing. I'm just using it like you guys are. And this is what's worked for me. If you're having problems and you turn it off and on, just know it might take up to 60 minutes. But let's jump back to YouTube Studio and see what's going on. So it's been roughly two minutes since we've connected. For me, Botrix usually takes about two to 10 minutes in order to join the chat, but usually it's around like the three to five minute mark. However, like I said, it can take up to an hour if this is your first time or you turn it on and off. So now we gotta play the waiting game and I'll fast forward this part for you guys. Just keep your fingers crossed for me. All right, so now you can see that our YouTube messages are showing up in the multi-chat. It did take a little while. I'd say it probably came in right around seven or eight minutes. So your mileage may vary. Really depends. It seems like it's kind of luck of the draw here. So let's go test all of the other platforms. I'm gonna send a message over on Kick. Let that one go through. I'm gonna send a message over on Twitch. We're gonna let that one go through. And then once again, we'll send a message through YouTube. You can see that Botrix has correctly joined the channel right there. So we're gonna send in testing for YouTube. I spelled that wrong, but I'm gonna leave that in the video. Just kidding. Send that one through. So let's go over to OBS. So now you can see we're testing for kick, got that. Testing for Twitch, got that. Now YouTube just seems, there we go. It's YouTube seems to be on like a five to 10 second delay. 
but that's just YouTube chat normally. You're gonna have to be a little bit patient when it comes to YouTube. And if you guys are still having issues with the YouTube chat not showing up, join the Botrix Discord, which I'll leave linked in the description, and you can ask the community and moderators and they can help you out there. I know it's against Twitch TOS, but if you guys want to have your multi-chat appear on the screen, all you'll do is just copy that widget URL we made before for the doc, and then you'll just add a new source and then add a new browser source. We'll call it multi-chat or whatever you really want, it doesn't matter. And then you're gonna paste in the URL, hit okay, and then put it here. And then your multi-chat will appear in this box. So let me go send some messages to show you. So now you can see we got Kick, Twitch, and YouTube all on the screen if you want and on the side. And a quick little bonus tip for you guys is if you go to your profile on Botrix, you select each one little profile. So we'll start with YouTube, make sure that's selected. Then we'll go to chatbot and then we will go to the modules tab. You can actually turn on your chat alert. So when you get a follower, then it'll say, thank you for following and thank you for subscribing. You can click set up. You can change the name. So for subscription, thank you for the follow on YouTube. So that way you know it was from YouTube, confirm, yes. And you can go ahead and rinse and repeat that for your other profiles. So like, let's go to kick settings and then chatbot and then modules then chat alerts and then set up, or you can just say, thank you for the kick follow. And then you can rinse and repeat for all the other ones. So that way, you know when you're getting alerts in the chat on your multi-chat. Now this can be a little finicky, so your mileage may vary. But watch this video to the side of me. It's gonna take your stream to the next level. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.